Okay, hello Chief Nation. Uh, just wanted to do another video this week to get, um, as we get closer to the start of school, August 17th is quickly approaching and we're very excited to start the school year. Um, hopefully we have a great year and hopefully things work out well for us as we have lots of planning to do as every other school in the state does as well. So um, just a couple things. I'm going to take you on a tour a little bit. We're going to do something a little bit different, but I wanted to give you some additional information here um, before we do that. So uh, first of all, um, a great a great percentage. We made some phone calls. We didn't get everybody contacted. I believe we left a message for at least everybody or talked to everybody that we could get a hold of. Uh, great percentage of you are, are coming to be in attendance at the school, which we appreciate. That will be the best way to educate you is to have you here in person. Um, and that we, we know that that's the best way to learn as we found out last spring. Those of the, you that are remote learning, um, the staff will do the best they can to keep you in um, going on the class, but we know that that's not the best way. So the focus will be on the kids that are here. We'll have to manage that classroom. We'll have to make sure they're on task. The remote learners, uh, you'll have to depend on help from your parents. Um, we'll deliver the lessons and that type of thing, but you'll have to depend on your parents as well to help you uh, stay on task and focused. So between the two entities, we'll try to keep things going. We will expect you to be in attendance during the school day. So. If you start out as a high school student in government class, you'll have to be logged on at 8.30 in government ready to go. Uh, Mr. Beeler then would deliver the lesson, uh, et cetera, give the assignment, whatever is going on that day in government. And then once that class period's over, you would then remotely go to the next period. So you will expect to be in attendance. If you're not in attendance, you will be counted absent. Um, if we have a problem with that, we'll go through those procedures to get you back on, on task and focused. Same thing in the elementary. If you're supposed to be in kindergarten class at 826 or 830 when we start school, then you will be there ready to go with Mrs. Ekman at, and do the uh, calendar and do the weather and do all those things that you start with, the exercising and, and things that they start with in, in kindergarten. Same thing with first grade, second grade, all the way up, preschool included. So if you're remote learning, and we do have a few, uh, that will be the expectation. Uh, the teachers are not going to be able to uh, make sure you're doing your work at home as well as the ones in school. So the focus will be the ones that we have in front of us, uh, and that will be our priority as far as that goes. But we will assist um, in those ones that are at home as well. But just so you know that the focus has to be with the ones that we have to manage at the building. Um, let's see. So we plan, our plan at school here, and I'll, I'll take you around a little bit to show you kind of what we've been doing. But our plan is to have school unless somebody, of the powers of the state shut us down or the powers of our county or city shut us down. We plan to have school if we have a few outbreaks and a few kids that have to quarantine, we will continue to have school as long as we can staff school and have students here. So that's our plan right now. Uh, we are having a, uh, well, let me, let me go through a couple other things. We do have a contract that you will have to sign if you're a remote learner. So you'll have this document that will kind of outline the expectations, including the attendance that I allu alluded to already. It also includes the, uh, if you're interested in extracurricular activities, uh, the sports, all those things that would take you out of school or put you in groups, we will not be allowing you to do participate in those based on the fact that safety of you, uh, you felt like it was safe, safer for you to stay home. We feel like then it would also be safer for you not to participate going to other schools and competing or going on a bus and competing and that, those types of things. So. That's, that's our stance on the extracurriculars as well at this time. Um, we plan on, uh, if you contract for the, for the uh, remote learning, so let's say you, you're gonna start the school year at home and we have a few, like I said, doing that, then our expectation would be that that's where you're gonna be. You can move one time, so during the nine weeks. So if you want, if you go two weeks and you think, well, it seems pretty safe or 
or it's not working out for whatever reason and you want to jump into school you can do that one time and then you're going to stay that next place for the rest of the nine weeks vice versa if you're here and you don't feel safe then you can jump back home for the rest of the nine weeks you can do that one time we're not going to let you jump back and forth now that nine weeks is kind of a thing that we're still working on i know some some districts are doing semesters some are doing the whole year so we're, we're starting with a nine weeks concept it might be better to do semester so we're still working on tweaking that that might change a little bit but just so you know you're not going to be able to one week here one week there one week here one week there once you commit to that you can change maybe one time during the span that we decide and then we're going to go forward with where you're at then and you're just going to stay unless of course you're quarantined for some reason if you're a close contact or if you contract covid or whatever the case may be then that would be obviously a different situation entirely and we would work with you on that as well um, we need help from home to keep to limit the exposures so uh, we know the state fair is coming up at the end of the month we know that um, the Sturgis Rally is going on right now. We know that the, um, I can't think what it is, Red something or other at the fairgrounds this, this weekend. Uh, all those things, there's all, all kinds of activities. We want you to work hard to limit your contact with a lot of other people so that we can keep school going. We want you here. We want you educated. We don't want to have to shut down again like we did last spring. So the more you can do to help us keep your kids healthy, Make sure you're doing your tests at home to um, check their temperatures, check their cough, their loss of taste, smell, all those um, attributes, and we'll send those home with you as well, or we'll send that home soon. I should have done that already, but that'll get to you, and then uh, you can help us to keep everybody healthy, keep our staff healthy, keep you healthy so everybody can continue in school. We do have a board meeting on uh, Monday, so this plan will be, we have one more COVID group meeting on Monday afternoon and then our board meeting Monday night at 6.30, we will kind of finalize these things and be ready to go. I want you to understand that no plan that we have is gonna be foolproof. We got lots of hurdles to go through. We understand that there's gonna be flexibility. There's gonna be changes. We're gonna get cases. We're gonna have to adjust. We're gonna have to decide um, and we're gonna have to on a case-by-case -case basis, figure out what to do with, with different scenarios. Just so you know that, we know that, understand that. It's not, we don't have anything that's gonna be black and white. This is not gonna be a black and white year at all. Lots of gray area, lots of decisions to make, and lots of discussions to have. We will try to work with you as best we can, but understand our staff is working hard here at school. They they have kids here from eight to four every day. Um, they're not going to be able to, like it was a little bit more flexible last spring, going to be less flexible in at other times. They'll work with your students that are not here or that are remote learning, but they also need to focus on the students that are here, also their family life at home, also their preparing for the next day and those types of things. So they need some downtime as well. I want you to understand that. They'll work hard. They always do. We have a great staff, as you know but they also need to need to recharge for the next day as well. So they can't be working from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 12 midnight just because, okay? So understand that. We're gonna, we're gonna work with you as best we can in all those scenarios. So I'm gonna take you on a quick tour. This video is gonna get a little longer, I think. I hope it all works. But I'm gonna take you on a little tour of what's happening. I'm in my office right now. We're gonna kind of go through and I've got some notes that I wanna go through with you. So it's gonna be kind of a little fun. We're having fun here. So I'm gonna walk through the office. We're gonna have plexiglass here um, in front of Jill's desk here and that in front of that area. It's not here yet. It'll be here next week. Marlis's desk will also have some plexiglass. So we're gonna to go to the front door. And there's the front door. So you will come in. We're going to have one entrance. There'll be one entrance only. So. This will be our entrance. Uh, it'll have a sign up here. Eventually, it'll say mask required upon entering. Everybody will have a mask on when they come in the building. And then we will come in. We will take your temperature. There'll be staff members here to take everybody's temperature. The doors will not open till 8 a.m. So this building will not be open until 8 a.m. On, on the 17th and then thereafter as well. So. 
if you're planning on, if you need to uh, have things worked out a little bit differently this year, please do so. 8 a.m. will be our door opening time. So then we'll take temperatures right in this lobby area. The breakfast, I'm gonna make sure I don't miss anything. So then you'll be able to go down for breakfast, okay? That'll be a grab and go type breakfast. There's no walking this year for the elementary. So you're gonna be, uh, go get your breakfast, come back to your, uh, the elementary will stay down there and eat. The high school, middle school, you'll go to a classroom to eat. So you won't be sitting down there. Um, so you'll have a quick, it won't be a hot breakfast to start with. It'll be some type of, uh, and the menu will come out. It'll be some type of quick thing that you can get a Pop-Tart, a bowl of cereal, something that's quicker, okay? Um, so let me just show you here. We've got some teachers here today. Uh, you must be masked when you're walking through the building. So if I'm walking through right here, I'm not actually, as you can see right now, but if I'm walking through here during school day, uh, we will have you masked, okay? So any interaction you have with anybody else, um, you will be masked at that time, all right? Um, come down to the to some classrooms. You can see here's our second grade room. We're gonna space these desks out a little bit better. So right now that's the spacing, okay? But they'll be spread out a little bit more. We'll do, we'll do that. I uh, haven't quite got all that done yet. Here's our kindergarten room, okay? We'll space our desks out a little bit so that everybody's safe and then those, that table, the kidney table that's over there, that, that will have plexiglass on it. We will have that separated. So when you're sitting at that desk, you will be separated, okay? We'll go down here a little bit more. Here's our library, as you know, and we will have plexiglass here to protect Miss Burma at the library. So it'll be right along this, right along this latch, okay? All right, let's go down. I think some of the teachers here, so I thought I'd do that. Show you a few of the staff members that are here. <laughs> so here, we're, we're gonna just pop in and watch this. Everybody say hi. Hi! Okay, good job. We're doing a video, we're live. We're not live, we're not live but we're doing a, we're gonna have a video on the, on the video call. Mrs. Mrs. Weinbar's hair is looking lovely. <laughs> They are ready to go. <laughs> All right, so that's the elementary wing. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you just a couple classrooms in the high school. Okay, and uh, we will be cleaning. The bathrooms will be cleaned regularly during the day. There's Mrs. Wallum. She's gonna clean as great as she always does. <laughs> and so that'll be, um, something that will obviously be a priority this year. Wanted to show you our uh, room six here, as you can see. And you can see what we've been doing here is trying to get these rooms ready. So as you can see, we have some dividers on each of the tables, okay? And that will allow two people to sit at that table, two people to sit at that table, two people at that table, etc. So that'll be how we social distance in here. So keep people separate. Their breath and things will not be shared. Um, if we can't mask, we'll distance. That's kind of the idea, obviously. Uh, each of the desks, this is Mr. Beeler's room. Let me get the light on. As you can see, we haven't distanced this yet. He's not, hasn't been in here yet. But we will not have plexiglass around each desk, but they'll be spaced. Um, and then some of the desks, I don't think Mr. Beeler is going to, but some of the teachers will have plexiglass around their desks. Let's go in the library. I'll show you kind of what we're doing in there. This is the green room this year. As you can see, we've done some painting. So that's how the library is going to look. Okay. And she's got four spots at each table. So we'll have kids sitting there and around the room. And then you can see, this is kind of how the desks will look of the teachers that want plexiglass around their desks. So that's how Karen will stay distance from the students. Okay, and I'll show you the lunchroom and then we'll kind of be done. 
so at e during lunch, we will have the tables marked. Uh, so they will, um, you'll have a spot to sit. You won't have to sit in the same spot every day, but we'll have a mark for you so that you can sit distanced from other students. So we changed some plexiglass here on the lunch area, the serving area. You can still, still get underneath there. Here's the dish return area. Okay, and then we are going to do the salad bar. We will have a staff member dishing up the salad bar so the students will not be doing that themselves. There'll be one person handling all of that. Okay. <laughs> and then this is, let me turn this light on. That's Marlis's podium. And you can see she's got plexiglass there as well. And I see Josie's here, our new cook. Well, she's the same cook. Just, that's Hi. Josie's. She's getting ready to go, as you can see. We've got corn, we got baked beans, we got all kinds of things. Painted the kitchen. Painted the kitchen, so we're ready to go. All right. Thanks, Josie. Yeah. <laughs> and so that is basically what we're looking at. Let me see if I forgot anything. Uh, we will have sand, hand sanitizers uh, around the building in the classrooms. All the floor, will, we will have some arrows and some spaces marked off for six foot distancing. We're waiting for those to arrive. So along this, because we will have to line up here for lunch, Okay, so you'll have six foot markings there, just like you see at Walmart or other businesses when you're standing in line. That's Mr. Walter. <laughs> He's getting ready for tech coordinator stuff and football probably. So that's, and then we'll have some arrows here on the floor so that you can, uh, as you walk to and from the lunchroom um, and down the hallway. So let me go back to my office. We'll finish this up a little bit. So school, as you can see, will be less of a social event than we've had in the past. Um, you know, we've, there won't be as much uh, time to visit. There won't be as much time to interact. We'll have to limit our time at the lockers, um, those types of things. So um, we just, we're working on lots of those details. Restroom use uh, won't be just, there'll be a key. We're looking at maybe stopping. Uh, we can't let people congregate in the restroom, so we'll try to stop that a little bit and uh, just work on the best we can to make everybody safe. Let me think about everything else. So we are, as you can see, the staff's very excited about everything. We're, we're working hard to get the curriculum ready all of those things that we need to do to regularly educate you as well as the things to keep you safer in the times that we live. So uh, we want you to know that we care about you and love you. Um, really looking forward to seeing everybody. Um, our buses are getting ready. Uh, they will have masks and they will be socially distanced or families gathering together in seating, those types of things as we get closer, we'll get more details out for that as well. If you have any questions, and this is a long video, it's almost 20 minutes. So there's a lot of information here. And if you, if you have any questions of things that I covered or didn't cover well enough, please call the school and I will answer it or email me or whatever way you want to communicate with me. And I'll get the answers for you or try to find them or maybe I'll even know it. <laughs> uh, so with that, have a great weekend. We wish you the best, stay healthy, stay distanced. Do whatever you need to do so that we can have a great school year. And as always, go Chiefs.